Environmental biology is being aware of your environment and not abusing it, and being able to manage everything at the same time as still being able to utilize your resources. Um, I think it's really important in this day and age with um, all the urbanization happening um, that we can sustain the environment and make sure we have environment left. Without knowing and understanding our environment, we wouldn't be as advanced as we are now. We wouldn't have the beautiful sites we have all over the world, and it would just be a sad day. Students are dealing with issues that are as simple as land use to the more complicated issues of invasive species, climate change, ecosystem services, as well as uh, wildlife management and, of course, human management related to plant and animal and wildlife issues. Nowadays, people abuse a lot of their resources and are unfair to the environment that we're fortunate to have. The instructors here are really hands-on. They always help and they're so knowledgeable. You can talk to one about any aspect that another's teaching you. And it's just really nice to know that out of the seven or eight instructors you have, every one of them will help you in whatever aspect it is. What's really great about Ferris is the class sizes are always really small, so you really get to know all of your instructors really well um, and your advisors. So they do a really good job, I think, of making sure that you really do learn what they're teaching you and with the labs too, that we all, all our classes have a lab, um, and they really make sure you're really learning and engaged. So you're getting experts in the field teaching your lectures and labs, and then in the summer and in the fall we do a lot of field courses, and that's what a lot of your bigger institutions are getting away from. Oh, I think Ferris does a really good job at preparing students for what comes after graduation. And that's something that Ferris is still sticking to, is making sure that when you leave at the undergraduate level, you're either trained to go into grad school or to get a job right away and you have the skills that you need. And that's what Ferris State's doing better than many schools. Environmental biology is a program that starts out like the pre-pharmacy program, the pre-optometry program, but really where it starts diverging from a lot of the programs is in the second year. So after they've completed their general biology and their general chemistry, as we move up in our biology program, we get into our 300 level uh, courses that have some very rigorous field methods or some very rigorous writing and we hold students to a much higher standard and that's where you know each of the programs starts to specialize. But we want to make sure that uh, when they get into the program they have a broad training in biology and then the big last component is this program requires an internship and so Dr. Kla and I I work with the students to find internship opportunities for these students that are real world settings and that's really where they really see how the science is done. Well I actually worked as a wildlife assistant for the Michigan Department of Natural Resources and the program here really um, really prepared me for that. I worked as wildlife assistant this past summer and everything that I had learned so far I was able to use. We take courses in um, botany and in zoology, um, animal behavior, ornithology. It's a very wide range of courses so that you get experience in everything so that when you go out and you're looking for a job, you're really prepared. I would say our goals are to make sure that a graduate in environmental biology is ready to go work for a governmental agency for themselves in consulting for a for-profit or non-profit institution, or be able to go right into graduate school and take their science another step further and really hone in on their research skills. I want to eventually go to grad school and then do travel, conduct research projects and travel around and study different types of animals and different types of habitats. Hopefully work in conservation, protect some endangered species. Um, maybe work at a forest preserve when I'm older, national park, I think that'd be pretty cool. Wildlife management, I think, is what I want to go into through either the DNR or the Forest Service or even a private sector, but um, wildlife management to make sure, you know, animals are where they're supposed to be and people aren't where they're not supposed to be. Everything that I've learned so far, I've enjoyed learning and it just enhances what I know that I like to do so much more. 
Prospective students should definitely, if they're not here at Fair State University, they should come do a campus visit and when they, when they sign up to do a campus visit, whether it be a dog days or whatnot, reach out to the biology department. Uh, contact our department head, Dr. Leeper, uh, or directly contact you know, the environmental biology program coordinator, uh, Dr. Paul Klott, and we can set things up like a visit to the greenhouse, a visit to the Card Wildlife Center, talking to faculty, seeing which but which faculty are doing undergraduate research. As well as, you know, coming and talking to students who are currently in the program because we have a lot of excellent students that are out there. Everything I've learned I've been able to use and it just makes me know that I like this program and I'm in the right spot.